Hey there, it's Kylie Menz here and hope you're well. Um, I'm just shooting this quick video as a testimonial for week seven of how to become a mediapreneur with Princess Fizz. Um, now, it's been a pretty awesome week for me. My live show started. Um, I've had some fantastic feedback from my first show already. Uh, I have my next show booked for Friday and another three already confirmed in as well. So um, definitely getting live now. I can't believe this is probably the first program or training I've ever done where I've implemented so much in such a short period of time. So it's absolutely awesome and I can't wait. Um, hopefully you're starting to watch or get an idea of what's going on. Um, but the big shift for me this week came after we um, had a mastermind on Monday night and we were given a task um, during the week to study Bob Proctor's um, The Science of Becoming Rich. And... Um, few things happen for me um, obviously there's lots of training around um, you know feeding your mind with obviously positive things um, reprogramming yourself in relation to kind of how you've been brought up but the big key for me was actually starting to get out of my realistic mode you know um, I'm a I'm a goal setter but I'm also uh, I guess I'm a high achiever when it comes to selling and things like that so I'm used to setting targets and achieving targets and, and working towards them um, but with this sort of mindset when you're really looking to take your business to a new level you've got to stretch yourself you know and a lot of people set goals and um, visions that are just kind of just above where they're at already because it's our comfort zone it's our protection zone it's where we feel that we can, we know we can kind of achieve it I guess in a way um, so he talks about three levels of goal setting. One where you just know you're going to achieve them. As simple as that. You can get through it. You know you can do it. The second goal is stretching yourself just slightly out of your, maybe out of your comfort zone or it might be pushing a target you've not done before. But then he talks about the third one, which is really your fantasy goals, your big vision dream goals. Um, and I'd been playing too small. It's simple as that. Um, you know, working with Fizz, she, she tried to get this through my head, I guess, in a way, um, um, through a couple of calls that we'd had but it wasn't until sitting down watching Bob stuff I was like I finally got what she was talking about um, and that's why I love working with Fizz is because it, it's not just about sometimes you know her training where she's at she'll also direct you to other people where she's got her vision and her goals from as well um, so that you can learn some of the stuff that she's already been through and doing that Bob Proctor exercise was just fantastic and now we're listening to his video like um, at least once a day just to keep getting it sinking into your mind to stretch bigger and build and grow that big dream vision so um, I started writing out, originally I had a daily figure of um, 10,328 pounds a day and um, I didn't believe that was possible and just in my head I was just like no it's not realistic enough I need something around the you know a couple of grand marks sort of thing and now I've just gone no that's it that's what I want to get to so I've written that out every day I've literally had that up around me every morning um, that is my whole focus now as simple as that um, and I'm actually reading a really good book at the moment called um, Get Rich Lucky Bitch as well um, and that's been fantastic about manifesting money and some of the steps you can take to do it so I'm um, loving this whole program it's really shifting me to a whole new level of thinking where my business is going to go um, and changing mindset because you know um, Bob talks about this a lot is the fact that you know we just we can just condition from a very young age you know we've got programming um, and what happens is that programming blocks you from doing things um, and to really move forward you need a what they call a paradigm shift um, and a paradigm is really just a multitude of habits. Um, so to shift them, you've got to dig deep and you've got to do stuff consistently over and over again to shift those years of, of um, inbuilt, I guess, habits. And I'm being blown away a bit here. Um, so getting past those paradigms that what are called roadblocks is so important to taking to another financial level. Um, so I've been working on them all week. I did a page yesterday. I literally just wrote out what I thought was stopping me, holding me back. Um, and just working through them bit by bit, but then also starting to replace them with um, really positive stuff, really interesting stuff, things that um, I can focus on. And again, goal setting wise, you know, one of my goals was to pay off some debt that I'd built up. Um, and that's the wrong way to write a goal like that. Um, 
Bob talks about writing a goal where um, instead of you know paying off that debt, which is the negative connotation, you're, you're moving away from a pain, focus on the positive side. So focus on how can I earn an extra, say, 20000 to be able to pay that instead. So focus on those sort of goals. So um, it's been an awesome week, absolutely inspiring working with Fizz. Um, I've learned some amazing marketing techniques, and I know my marketing over the next few weeks is going to go to a whole new level. So I'm very excited by that. Um, once again, if you get a chance to work with her and you really just want to grow your business, then just get in and just work with Fizz wherever you possibly can. It's Kylie Men's here and I'm going to leave you to it. I'm getting blown away out here and then head back inside. Cheers. Bye.